first. Fighting out of the blue corner. And wearing the colors of his homeland, red of the Philippines, Jim Reds. The former WBA and IBF featherweight champion of the world. And the defending WBO interim featherweight champion, Juan Manuel Marquez. Obey my commands, quick up all times. Good luck. Let us work that. Play a little It's a little more that fight that I can remember. The only one was Pacquiao, but other than that, he's been able to get boxing years. He's much younger. More than anticipated. Marquez in the traditional Mexico. He's got to go up against a conventional fighter, and there you see Marquez, a straight right. Marquez is fighting a lot more aggressive than he, he seems to be very determined to be impressive tonight. Two fights ago, he lost a decision that defeated. He, I never heard him say something like that. Yeah, and he's got caught with a beautiful straight left right there by Haka. Haka doing oh. work to the body, but Marquez... This could turn out to be a much more exciting fight than we all expected. Uh, it was a left hook from Marquez. Yes, it means we have a good, exciting fight on our hands. Marquez doubles up with the left hand and unloads the right. As Pacquiao does. Juan Manuel Marquez and Jim Renner of Haka. Speak Tagalo, Ernie Kalug will translate, and when we you hit you on the side, eh? Everything's doing well. Relax. Right after Marquez had got caught with a good straight left from Hawk in the corner and started to unload himself. Compton number 54, Hawk 18 out of. There you see how Harold Letterman scored the first round, and he gave it to the youngster from the Philippines, Haka. This fight was supposed to take Marquez, who did some of the hurting in that round, although couldn't tell if Marquez just was off balance. Now, Marquez is a, a wee tad slower than he normally is, I think. Because, because he himself got caught with a right hook, even though inside. There we go, nice Manny. <laughs> you know, going into this fight, it doesn't seem like you for Manny Pacquiao. And Manny, it looks to me like Hawk was fighting similarly to Pacquiao in many respects. There is a cut over the left eye, I believe, of Jim Rex Haka. Marquez on lows. All right. There you see what Martin with his left. Also, sometimes when he comes in. Because I thought he would be moving around a lot. This fight, if Marquez can make adjustments and start to pull away. Marquez trying to end round two with a flurry. What's the defense? You're doing real good. Real good. As Marquez was coming in, and it, no, no, I'm sorry, he's a left. And he lost his balance, but it's for Haka. The last one was pretty incredible. Hernandez it was a uh, first round TKO. He's fighting back a lot, just enough to make Marquez get out. Instead of throwing punches and just staying there, he punched. Look, uh, shook Haka. Manny and uh, Marquez throughout his career has reminded me of that. Rounds go on. I don't know if he's going to be that effective. This guy seems to have his number here. Very elusive up in his upper body. Back to punch. That it, I think it did a little something. It's a little bit more in this round than he was earlier. Yeah, but the one thing we get to another level. I see Marquez applying a little more pressure. Marquez showed you a little bit of the speed that he says he has. Starting to settle into the fight now. Haka unloads. Haka's punch out foot slows down just a little. Marquez trying to see. Very nice, very nice. You use your combination. You see, Bernard Hopkins and Oscar De La Hoya. Marquez is now Jim Rex Haka. Uh, okay, Fred. Two rounds to one. 29 28, Jim Rex Haka. That, that style of Jim Rex Haka, I mean, this is two guys standing. It's not uncommon for Marquez to start slowly, but like he really is trying to take this guy's head off. Then 
would have gotten the fights that he won. In a long career where he... The punching pal, Mark Harris, but he's fighting the good. He's winning the round. Southpaws, Manny. Guys are on guard for that straight left hook. Marquez seems to be caught with that. Punches with a lot more speed and power than the Hocker. Durable still. He is fighting a southpaw with a good straight left hand. And that guy like that, might that not be an advantage against Pacquiao in a, in a rematch? But, but, and you can't do that with a guy like Pacquiao. Take over the fight. Right here, you can see Hawker landing little short punches here. Not enough power on him, but still, these people on the score. See, it's good. That's Porter, Jose Reyes here, the cut man uh, with that uh, cut. And Hidalgo, Texas, Fran Charles, along Emmanuel Stewart, and Max Kellerman. And this was supposed to be. Tell you what, should he come out with a win here? I think. What a damn version of Pacquiao right here. In because maybe the guy on the tape isn't the guy you face. Yes, yeah, Haka. He wanted to make sure everything was all good. Marquez wouldn't touch gloves. Neutral corner, right there. Right there. Accidental. Accidental. Lawrence right? Cole says it came from an accident. Oh. Because it's a very hard uh, and bad cut. When you see two heads bump it's in between, gets busted. Very bad cut. I'll tell you what, if Harold's Cole's in some trouble. And Marquez, you can tell, sensing he doesn't want to go to work here in the fifth round. The fifth fight that we know of with Haka. Career except for the Pacquiao fight, vulnerable. Perhaps on points. Yeah, I see what happens. To beat a guy, that will go a long way towards making him a more popular fighter. Marquez shot a big volley trying to, you know, get even after getting cut. And now... It's streaming down the right side of Marquez. Time! No punching. Is it okay? Don't worry about it. It's all right. You should offer cut. You should want to combination. With the cards to determine a winner. Power punches in round five. Tina 43. Haka 12 of 40. Guess. Sometimes when fighters aren't right. And Marquez, though he has, he lost to Freddie Norwood. Controversial. Folio, and I think raises his profile among the top fighters in this weight class. And he does seem to be fighting harder since the cut. And he's, to me, landed more punches in the fight. He seems to be very comfortable with the situation and has been able to take all that it could be a tough fight. Wouldn't be a dramatic win if it wasn't against the determination. Unawed about this pro-Mexican crowd, when particularly there in Pacquiao in the Mexican last week. And he's showing some maturity. Hawkins. Good right hand, good right hand. Mark and Lush upstairs on Jim. Very determined fight aid. In fact, there it is again. By shooting the right hand without shooting it. The blood streaming down on the right side of Marquez's face. You see him wiping it off. In between, firing, big cup. Fellas, say, say not what we expected. You're doing good. You're okay. Don't worry about it. We see the head, but it caused the, the, the bad cut right there. It's not unusual. You have a conventional fighter taking on a softball. And Marquez is Sunday off and no. a straight right no. hand. And maybe that's one of the reasons Haka's still around this late in the fight, despite the fast pace. All right, we are through six rounds. Harold Hunt. hand that he's winning these rounds. But I want to say something. You were right on the round. Four to two, Marquez. Yeah, and that's the only reason he hasn't been knocked out. Because Not only is this the kind of fight that will endear Marquez to the fans, more vulnerable than he used to be. And they're Truly the case, I believe. I think he's, he gets hit a little bit more than he used to, but he's fighting. Oh, yes. yes. uh, nice uppercut by Marquez, and then he doesn't need for Marquez. He just landed a right uppercut. Yes. 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 As I mentioned, he lost two fights ago in his last fight. And a very good, exciting power punching fight tonight. In the Chris John fight also, most people thought he won. I thought... You should time it. And one, and one. The wife, you can build a couple in the Philippines. With level of opposition. Being a spirited, inspired... He says he has no other. Should be said also. As we... 
People are talking about Bar He didn't lose to Pacquiao. He just got blitzed twice. To the second butt. Right there. No. It's a second accidental headbutt. And you can see once again, Marquez wants to take Maddox in and right there with him going toe to toe. But Hopper came right to him and he's he uh, uh, met him punch for punch. What an exchange. Going right to him. He's not taking it easy. Both guys are meeting each other. Marquez's face in a furious exchange with a defend. Marquez still could win the fight. But he's not trying to. The right side of his face. And right there. Oh, when you see. Telling yeah. uh, Marquez he was ahead on the score. Fight. Definitely on it. I'm very sad about it. I don't recall that. Oh. And he wants to fight on. How could Lawrence Cole? That's the kind of stuff that would happen in an open scoring scene. How are you feeling? Hey, attack his body. Oh, I can't God. take both. Three. Good accident. I can't take power punches in the eighth round. And 30 to 17. Right. Orthodox fighter. That's in cons to open scoring. That is a potential con, knowing they were ahead in the fight. And a lot of fight points. They would just the fight, even if there's no cut involved, just on point. It's yeah. to Marquez's credit and towards him in terms of public demand. Many the guys, a uh, point that was just brought to my attention. From you may not understood him. Good point. Corner. Doing a nice job. Eight. Really nice job. And has been his manager since he was a kid. I guess when he was about to the boxing guy in his life. But he and his brother Rafael. Rafael. Against the ropes and he comes back. With oh, big left hook by Marquez. He doubled up and it took. Prize. I don't think Hawker knows where he is quite. No, he probably didn't see the. That's his Sunday punch, man. He the left to You gotta go. Great, great victory for Marquez. Seemingly was taking everything that won them. For this victory, I would Towards himself. Last victory. The public would probably want to see Marquez now more so than Barrera, which I wanted at first. And there you see his fight fans. His face torn. Up.